Google Workspace versus Microsoft Teams, which collaboration tool is right for you? Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, we're going to be comparing Google Workspace and Microsoft Teams, two popular platforms for team communication and collaboration. Both are powerful tools, but they serve slightly different purposes. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know which one is the best fit for your team or business. Now, let's dive in. What is Google Workspace? Google Workspace is a productivity suite that includes tools like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, and Google Meet. It's designed for seamless collaboration on documents, file sharing, and real-time communication. It's perfect for business and teams that need a cloud-based system to manage emails, store files, and work collaboratively. Now, what is Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is a communication and collaboration platform that focuses on chat, video conferencing, and team management. It integrates deeply with Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It's ideal for teams that rely heavily on instant messaging, virtual messaging, and project-based collaboration. Some key differences when it comes onto both platforms. For example, Microsoft Teams focus, is focused on real-time communication, including video calls, chats, and team channels. While on the other hand, Google Workspace is mainly focused on productivity and file collaboration, offering tools to create and share documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. And if we were to talk about integration, when it comes on to Google Workspace, you'll be able to integrate apps like Google Calendar, Gmail, and third-party tools like Slack and Zoom. And also, if we were to talk about integration with Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams integrates seamlessly with Microsoft 365 apps like Outlook, OneDrive, and SharePoint, making it perfect for businesses already in the Microsoft ecosystem. And if we were to talk about ease of use, Microsoft Teams has a learning curve, but its integration with Microsoft 365 apps adds significant value for users familiar with these tools. And also, if we were to look at ease of use for Google Workspace, Google Workspace is intuitive and familiar, especially for users who already use Gmail or Google Drive. And if we were to look at their pricing, for example, with Google Workspace, you can get started for $6 and it goes up to $18 on their business plan. And when it comes on to Microsoft Teams, you can get started for $4, you can see right there, per user, and it goes up to $12.50. So in conclusion, which one should you choose? You should choose Google Workspace if your team values easy collaboration in files using Gmail or needs a simple cloud-based productivity suite. And then I would recommend that you choose Microsoft Teams if your team prioritizes communication, video meetings, and deep integration with Microsoft 365 apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If this comparison helped, please be sure to hit the like button and also leave a comment.